Now, the CIA misled the American people for years about the treatment of terrorist suspects. That's the dramatic conclusion of a leaked report into American use of torture that has been years in the making. The Senate Intelligence Committee has been investigating how the CIA used techniques like waterboarding, and the leaks suggest the agency repeatedly lied to Congress about how much useful information they got from it. Our Washington correspondent Kylie Morris reports, and just to warn you, her report does contain uh, movie scenes of torture. It's an investigation from the very top level of government aimed at pricking the nation's conscience. And it's prompted a full-scale feud between the spies and the senators whose job it is to keep them in line. Although it's not yet in the public domain, there are hints of what the Senate Intelligence Committee's report contains. And it's nothing less than a damning review of how officers at the CIA interrogated, interned and abused prisoners after 9-11. If you lie to me, I'm going to hurt you. Now, now, look at me. Most critically, the committee's report look doesn't accept that torture, known euphemistically as enhanced interrogation, delivered results. While the Oscar-winning film Zero Dark Thirty portrays torture as critical to the capture of Osama bin Laden, the report concludes otherwise. Worse than that, it suggests the CIA misled its masters about how effective those measures were. Uh, so long as a measure does not cause um, vital organ failure and or death. It is not torture. What? Glenn Carl worked for more than 20 years as a CIA operative but left that's, in 2007 and published uh, a memoir called The Interrogator. Did they ever work, these techniques? <laughs> this is one of the big lies, actually. I mean, it, it almost comes out of uh, Trotsky or, or Stalin, uh, where if you repeat a, a, um, a lie or a mistruth enough, it becomes the truth. It doesn't work. It is counterproductive. The, ob the reasons really are sort of obvious. If you are under duress what will, and you're in serious pain, what will you do? You'll, you'll do what it takes to stop the pain. Why would you tell the truth? That's just happened. Telling to the truth has I made Glenn Carl a fringe dweller of the intelligence community. But he made that choice 10 years ago when he resisted orders from a senior officer to use techniques he regarded as torture. My response was, we don't do that, to which he responded, well, we do now. And I said, well, we would need at least a direct order from the president to do something like that. And he said, well, we have it. We're covered. I, I will tell you this, uh, using those techniques save lives. My job was to protect America, and I did. It's the role the CIA played to protect America that is now under investigation. But intelligence insiders caution against criticism of an agency whose work is necessarily underhand. And all of these trade-offs present a constant set of moral and ethical dilemmas as well as practical dilemmas. It's a dirty business. It is, by its very nature, a dirty business. There's no ambiguity for the president. He wants the Senate to complete its report so he can release it. I am absolutely committed to declassifying that report uh, as soon as the report is completed. The Senate committee votes tomorrow on the report it will send to the president. Even now, though, the passage of that report isn't necessarily straightforward. Even when it, it reaches the president, the CIA will still play a role in deciding what of it can actually be declassified and released to the American public and one of it has to be redacted for security reasons. So it's likely there'll still be many questions left unanswered from this dark period of the CIA's history. Kylie Morris, our Washington correspondent.